May 17, 2020 it is. And I'm about to come up with more proofs in respect to MKUltra. That's basically 21 year old, 21 years of MKUltra, uh, which started in USA and then have moved to Europe specifically in quite a few countries. In this case, we have Poland here. A real fast overview. Uh, Grotniki right here, Lodz, greater area right here, Baluti, Vidzev, Polesi here, you cannot see it, Gorna, you cannot see it here, and my present location right here where you see this Rzgov. Okay, already identified Zgirsh, already identified Lodz, already identified and now Zgirsh. Uh, we were also in Strikov, Pagyanica, and so on, but this year it's coming next. We were also here in Dobron. Um, this year it's now, as it's coming next, to disperse doubts about my presence here in the past when subject to MKUltra. I will just demonstrate you what day looks like in a city where you were brought. Uh, for MK Ultra, what what this looks like, and so I'm just gonna go and do this real fast. There ain't gonna be any doubts about any of this stuff here. So this here would be the unit here it's per kilometers. I should have done that a little earlier, demonstrate, but okay. It's a huge area, folks. It's a lot, a lot, but that's pretty much what 21 years of this would produce. I am zooming into location. This here, this is this here is the location where I'm staying. You see, the location where I am at, and I still remember it's right here somewhere is the border. Here is Staragora that you see, this is already part of Loc. But this Erzgov city, this suburb of the Loc. This is right here somewhere on the border, something like this, some, somewhere in the border. I, know, I don't know what it is, but I remember Americans talking about that this is just a border. It's right on the border between Rzgov and Luch. I remember that too, you see. Okay, so this here, this what you see right here, this would be my location where I'm presently staying. Yesterday on May 16, I proceeded here and then through the side streets like this, I would proceed here to the right past Institute of Centrum. Um, uh, Institute of Health, Centrum, Zdrowia Matki Polki. This is really interesting. The first time I found myself here was in 98, 99 already, as I explained in continuation. As I came here to the intersection, I spotted the sign hotel. It immediately reminded me of a hostel, which I saw it on uh, OLX. It's a white building. And uh, just when I saw this table here, uh, hotel, and I looked around, I zoom, I saw a house that reminded me of that hostel. Uh, headed to that dire direction, which is basically this street here, but have instead found house where we would be staying. It was one house. We, did, we would all stay also in two other houses, like super, super briefly. Borat Pahor did so, so that I would not be wrong at that. But mainly was the house, one house here that uh, I have identified that owner actually even left rug uh, supposedly as to cover some stuff over there that he left on the yard uh, on a front yard uh, but this was one of the so this was one location this institute central Mizravia Polki I described all this I never went inside I never saw a single thought on the internet about this and this house here, then as far as the street here, I did not go any further, but I can do it like this, I'm going to tell you. Uh, I still proceeded past Carrefour. I proceeded to find this hostel. 
and I wandered in the street, which I have mistaken for another street. Oh, sometimes streets resemble one another. Being in so many locations throughout the Poland can be also a problem. But anyways, right here there is a Vulcanizer and there is a company um, the two next to which there is a blue house all this you're gonna see it on a video recording these were the three first buildings here everything else here that came to life if I zoom myself especially this area here that you see this this is all new construction here this is how far in time this thing goes when we first came so you know if I zoom a little further down you're gonna see buildings here this none of this here uh, when we came first here Vulcanizatia here and this company here these are like a first two uh, first buildings here and you have another like a blue house right next to it that's also where well I stayed next to Pahor now Slovenian president he liked this building so much house old house he would stay here he was crazy about this one here now do I know more people here yes would you go here further I was also people involved in MK Ultra that I would meet there are some new houses housings and so on now what happened here is more important Vulcanization, and then you have this company here there is eventually here a parking lot like a little parking like a little little tiny little parking um, I had it instead through as I recognized the road toward the hostel where we would stay now the hostel I'm talking about I have already completed I probably estimate about six months ago I just didn't put this on the internet that's why I said that I have identified one already six months ago I didn't know this I wanted to go here and see this whole thing and then until I have eventually found myself here on the other side which is this here this this buildings here once I got here it came to me that eventually not too far from here is the hostel which I already have identified but six months ago too late <laughs> yesterday I thought I'm gonna find one that already was identified long time ago it's just I didn't put on the internet I have too many things I gotta put on the internet but too little time what happened this is really important you see this here this little tower here you see it what happened here is um, this is an old old tower a uh, ruins and it's with this all the ruins that they would do all kinds of rituals MK Ultra stuff like this and there's a group of kids here from this area here that you see not only from this here that you see here but they live in this in this area here in the vicinity of this and these are the kids that they would meet me that you're gonna hear them because the Polish government got them on the picture right here and they challenged me they wanted to actually see how much do I remember about the ruins if I am able to identify them if I remember them uh, how would I identify them and so on and so forth uh, and they did this they did through challenging me what I remember if I remember anything at all and then they did they attempted to see just how willing am I to pursue the truth here throughout the Poland how determined I am to go about my business and so there was also some uh, physical threats and stuff like this involved but not really none of these guys would really touch me anything at all these guys were involved in MK Ultra already when they were like 17 years old 16 years old were young this group of boys you're talking about six people of which only one person is older uh, this older man knew about this MK Ultra case but these boys took a complete initiative in this case they are now age somewhere from 37 and up so then you can imagine how far this MK Ultra case goes huh uh, definitely 20 years and more back in this area alone here um, so 
since I remember them when they were like 16, 17 years old, I was not only able to identify them, but I have actually pointed out for one individual exactly what happened to him, uh, what he looked like, and it can be proven through his school grades. The stuff I'm talking about is a factual stuff because it happened eventually in high school. Uh, so these are these ruins here. I was told that I will be able to talk to them by the gentleman who came uh, till he would come. If he would come, that means that things could be, uh, turn in a negative, no longer desired way, and I would basically have to leave. This whole thing, this meeting, our meeting was video recorded. They had a camera positioned somewhere. They have recorded me, but I have also helped myself. I'm not so innocent either. I audio recorded it. So if you speak Polish, you'll be able to understand what basically went on here. Right? And even if you speak English, there is something little you can also understand. The gentleman who came by, I say to him, uh, hello, how are you? But he does not answer anything. Uh, this is about 1.7 tall gentleman uh, who lives exactly in to be completely completely precise I believe and when I believe something it's like you can bet on it that would be this building right here to about on about third floor something like this um, right here right across this little river on the other side of the forest ends you would find him is some kind of president of some kind of underground view uh, in Poland don't have only public functioners their importance but it's also importance given to older people more experienced people that younger people follow uh, tend to stick with uh, their ideals and such as this, uh, this uh, gentleman and then there's also another lady so he's president of something I don't know but he he counts and really everything when he he showed up I had to go it was time to go uh, they started to threaten and stuff like this told me they have to go I he would not answer when I say hello to him good day to you but I remember him he lives here he always come here with a dog to this park I should say probably with other dogs prior to this one because he always had this kind of poodle dog he would always go here for a walk so there was quite a few people I identify already and as I proceeded I met old couple of which one gentleman was well if you want to call this a gang old friends he was a member of this group right here along the street we met uh, and so as we met in the street here um, he was actually the only one except maybe another guy but uh, some of them stayed single most of them stayed single these guys that would get himself a girlfriend and eventually marry her and have a child with her and this was the girl also that was interesting in me and instead they put this gentleman in the picture he got married to her uh they are now a couple i don't know he said uh, 10 years together now uh, he said nine years but really is 10 it was already in 2010 and so together then my identifying both of them the gentleman actually lives in an area here and i have pointed out he lives in an apartment uh, as soon as i would identify people like i would start to talk about them i have also pointed out that he lived with a single parent and that was a father i thought it was a mom uh, in this case this was a father who died about seven years ago i think he said um as soon as i would start to identify them like this that i would start to point at the location where they live and this and that it 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 would just want to change subject they would give me like a little con confirmations but they would just want to run away basically so it was very very sensitive you could tell together however we headed to a place where they had goats 
uh, little animals, um, assholes and stuff like this. Like a little farm here that always was here uh, for the children, I don't know, chickens and stuff like this. Children, families that would go here and see something different basically. And then I headed back basically. That's all there was and on my way back I can tell you that I have identified and I speak about this in the video. Uh, which everything was recorded you're about to hear either video or audio recorded yesterday. I'm going to demonstrate this so you're going to see what one day looks like. Uh, what is it exactly one day looks like uh, in life of somebody who was subjected to MK Ultra so that you're not going to have any doubts about any of the stuff I have spoken about. I have already more than proven my case but I just want you to see what it looks like when you go, what it feels like when you move through the space, what exactly you see out there, what exactly you are subject to, what exactly you are exposed to. So this should definitely be interesting, right? So all this stuff was identified, basically all this area was identified, and I still have to put some other audios, which I have. This is not the only thing I have. I, here on the same day I came, that was on May 6th, I have identified, let's say, this place here. It's actually right here in Staragora, the intersection. You're going to see that when I identified. I live here. And so this, yesterday, was identified with the proofs in my hands. Pretty much, well, all this area here, basically. That's quite considerable. That's a quite a considerable area. So, this area here, the hostel where we will stay, that goes all the way to 87 year 1997 excuse me that one i already have identified when i visited uh actually no it was not so far it was five months ago not six months ago when i went to the czech republic upon return from the czech republic eventually i have uh stopped i have eventually stopped uh, at port luoch and from Port Lodge, I proceeded here for apartment search. And this is how I kicked into that hostel, basically one of the hostels. We're not staying in one, one hostel, we stayed at quite a few hostels. But that much for this area of Greater Lodge area, if you like, in Poland, somewhere in center of the Poland. So if this is the uh, mileage that you see here, right? Five kilometers you see here then you can get the immensity of this project that went on walking all this uh moving back and forth yeah this is big one folks so stay tuned for more mk ultra proofs and see what a day uh in an individual's life that was subject to mk ultra uh basically looks like today is the may 16 of 2020 Saturday it is. Uh, I am at Matka Polka Health Center if you want, not too far from the residence. And there are two entrances here, you see. This is one entrance is right here, you see it? There is a security booth, and then there is that other entrance that's actually like entrance when people go inside. But this is never the one we would actually use. Not the stairs only but this one right there did you see we would go through the stairs up there too if you would go through the one you see right there right now eventually you would have to turn uh, once you get in you would have to turn this way basically which exactly as you see it behind me are the main stairs to the building uh, and we would use exactly what you are about to see as an entrance. We would not go oftentimes through main stairs. So basically this here is the entrance we would use. You would proceed just about, I say about... Through this entrance you would go about maybe 5-10 meters, something like this. You would have elevator on the right side. Past the elevator, however, uh, you would have stairs also on the right side. Then you would proceed up. These are small stairs and you would continue about maybe on a hallway 20-30 meters further down uh, 
towards the center of the building where you would have big blue stairs. Remember what it looks like inside. I'm not going to go inside because I would contaminate its uh, evidence, basically. This was done illegally. This was done criminally. This is uh, what I was brought against my will, subject to torture, MKUltra, uh, all kinds of ordeals they have done. And for me, this is very important evidence. Eventually, eventually, this stairs Eventually, these stairs are wide stairs. You're talking about the wide stairs. You're not talking about like narrow or something like this. Are you talking about like a wide, wide, wide stairs? Inside is something I remember. I'm actually thinking about renovation. There was a renovation done. At least they appear like almost kind of really like fresh. And that must have been sometimes back in 2000 and God knows, 2000 and 2003, 2004. God knows some, how far this goes. This goes far. It goes further than what I thought it would be the case. I remember the rooms, what they look inside, upstairs. We would also go here, um, upstairs, but if you would go upstairs here, you would have to eventually go um, further. You would have to go, I think, further to get the stairs, eventually. You would have to go further to get the stairs. So when you would walk inside through this entrance here, that you would eventually pass the elevator area, I believe. You would pass the elevator area and then it would be stairs. No, I'm not gonna go inside. I'm not gonna go inside in here, anywhere near I'm gonna go. That's all. And the date, again, May 16 of 2020. Mart Kaporka Medical Center. Borat Pahar, right now President of Slovenia, told me this you will not remember. This you will not remember. Most likely this you will not remember. The first arrivals from Slovenia. I have already explained what went on in Slovenia in our house. In our house in Slovenia. This is a huge house that hosted Putin, Bush, Schwarzenegger and quite a few other people and amongst these people there were like most of the people same age as I was and some were even older than myself some I have seen on a top position on a top positions within the US military within the British forces this is people that went through this stuff and got like top positions. Mike Pompeo did not go through anything in his advisor from Trump, let's say. He was there. Mike uh, Pence, let's say. None of them went through anything, but you can see them all today. When it comes to military, things are close to something like that. They were playing with directed energy weapons. They were playing with all kinds of stuff. In late, in about 98, 99 is where the first arrivals came through Grotniki to Zgiesz. And when I mentioned this, of course, there was Alexander Luochki, uh, where when you would be heading for the first time to Zgirsh, you oftentimes would get kind of lost. We did. I remember this. Uh, the, 
there were probably about, I estimate, about four people, if not five people or so, that ended up in Matka Polka Health Center. This is a huge health center because of what was exhaustion. You have to keep in mind from Grotniki to Zgirz is a long way. Now, when I did this, I was 48, but I am, I was, I was in a top shape. I was in a top shape. I was in a shape just as professional sportsman. It did not affect me in any way. Plus that I was doing this kind of stuff all my life. The thing about it is many of those guys did not. And so, at no wonder, they found themselves inside of the health center from exhaustion. Some of those gentlemen, it must have been more than four or five of them, must have been more than that, were much older gentlemen. They were gentlemen already in their, like, 50s. And they were like... We had everything here. You're talking from Netanyahu. Uh, Netanyahu was the one who demanded a statue to be dedicated in Zgirsh. I think about 5,000 Jews they exterminated. Uh, it was probably more than that. I, please don't take this as an offense or anything like this. I have to look over again. There was a huge concentration camp ghetto in Luch and when these fabricants, these Germans uh, piled up George Bush, Angela Merkel, when they piled up Donald Trump along with him the whole delegation from US when they piled up about for investments that would go into through here to this area uh, they were just kind of a try to sideline him and he conditioned them. He said it's going to be either a statue dedicated to the Jews and to the Poles or there will be no Israeli investments here. There will be nothing. It's going to be either this or that. And they did dedicate one. It's a really small one though compared to a huge memorial they have built right here in Zhgov, not too far from here, uh, dedicating it to 2,000 Germans uh, which fought during the World War One. But they did dedicate it. That was his precondition. I actually commend him for that. He did the right thing. If individual held some kind of public position already, if the individual was already well established, individual would end at the rear of the building. Where you saw it, that's a front entrance. Now, they would end up at the, at the rear of the building and on the top floor. On the top floor and the rear of the building, that's what, that was like really from what I can recall, uh, nice, I mean, nice, nice area to be inside. But American dudes, and there might have been some Israeli too in there too, uh, were very, very unhappy with what was lower uh, floors where they threw them inside of the rooms that they were unbearable and I don't know what. And so, I have no idea what they did with them. They might have given them, like, intraveno something to, uh, you know, to liquid or something like this to revive them, because this is what this is all about. The foremost, people get sick like this when they do not drink enough liquid. This is a problem. Uh, now, going back and forth, going back and forth between in a summer time like this, when I came first time, it was hot as hell and you got lost through Alexandro Lochki. Close to Alexandro Lochki I came. I came exactly the same way as Borut Pahor did. 
my neighbor, Donna Collins, I was very close to Alexander Lodzkin, then I continued towards Gersh. It would not take me two hours and a half. When you go through that one, you get lost uh, like this. It takes you really, I don't know, maybe six hours, whatever, to get there. And then you have to get back and so on and so forth. I don't think the six hours, but a long one with a backpack loaded in a summertime like this, uh, on a summer day, on a hot summer day, it can be an issue for many people. And it was. I remember them crying when we would go along. There is Egyptian gentleman from Egypt, not too far from here. Um, Egy Egyptian gentleman, and then was another gentleman with me inside of the immigration center from it could be Syria quite a few of these gentlemen is what I'm trying to say they were like regular civilians they were laughing at this kind of stuff they were not as early here but they were like I don't know when they came they came sometimes in late stages uh, nothing like this and they put them to the test and you know what happened these people would cry they would cry from 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 the pain they can't do it anymore and this and that it was all kinds of stuff that went on and this is how we came for the first time to Matka Polka this is where we found ourselves in Matka Polka so this goes despite Borut Pahar would say something like this you're not gonna remember maybe even to 98 99 now this is exactly what he said I would not remember and it's exactly what I remember uh, I remember what the hospital looks like on the inside I remember what the hospital looks like on the top floor I remember what the hospital looks like on the middle floor I remember what the rooms look like I remember what the hallways looks like the stairs were painted in blue the stairs were painted in blue they look like brand new sometimes in 2000 they look like brand new uh, now if you would go if you would go toward just to for the record today is May the 17th of 2020 and everything you're about to see here in this video was recorded on May 16 of 2020 that's basically yesterday and so if you would enter what I demonstrated the entrance you would have to turn left and they were really specific and angry about this stuff because American guy and the Israeli guy they would they would keep going through that through that entrance right there to that is which was located on the right side and they would get annoyed with this stuff and they told them not to go there go through other entrance if you go or you should actually use the stairs to go up this is the main entrance actually now going through the entrance which I have indicated we would get in means that you would first get on the right side as you would go straight you would have on the right side elevator and just past this elevator you would have stairs but these are not big stairs these are like smaller stairs then you would elevate yourself through those stairs up and I have no idea maybe just to the first floor and then you would proceed probably about at least I have no idea probably about 20 30 meters I don't know how far how further down the hallway and that's when you would get this wide stairs they're like wide beautiful uh, painted in blue stairs and you would go up wherever you would want to go this is the way this is a matka polka this is exactly the way it was I never was inside supposedly uh, I have not seen any pictures I have not browsed the internet anything that would suggest anything but I can tell you what the rooms look like like inside uh, beige flooring uh, on the top uh, toward exa facing the exactly opposite side 
you would have a beautiful view. You would have a view down on a street and stuff. Versus the guys that were positioned somewhere in the middle of this thing, they did not have anything. It, it was also hot. It was also hot as hell in the middle in the middle floor. They they didn't have any air condition, anything like this. They were unhappy. The, you have completely different atmosphere than on our upper floor. Upper floor was reserved for people already established, uh, functionaries and so on. Maybe interesting, at this location here where I am, the individual I was with, uh, one of the individuals I was with was Chris Cuomo from CNN. Chris Cuomo from CNN uh, was one of the first people who actually came to Poland and he came here per, basically per CNN. This is the real stuff folks. I can tell you he is a super super nice uh, a gentleman, very soft, very pleasant. By the way I did not even know that he's so tall. I, I am I was kind of a shocked when look the the guy is actually so tall because he gave me impression uh, that that is just he, he's just so nice okay that you would not that you would really not realize that uh, he's just really acting in such a such a nice way he's just such a pleasant person to be around with I'm going to put it this way uh, he just wanted to be see specific dots, specific locations, and the one who would authorize and give him these locations, he would want to go see it, was Donald Trump. Then I understand something that he decided to go through this whole thing or something like this, but that was years after or something like this. I don't know whether he did, what went through, what, what, what happened, I don't know. This is maybe something he alone would have to tell about it. Uh, but in this location, yes, he was. Came up actually with a scenario that during coronavirus is going to be staying at home and watching this, believe it or not. Uh, this also I have to clarify about uh, mentioning Chris Cuomo. Uh, it's like this. In 2013, Chris Cuomo told me he's got second version of coronavirus so you're not going to be able to say uh, anything that I didn't have one or anything like this. He was most likely again what was in Poland to meet me and he told me that was already in 2013. Now I do not know whether as per medical profession exists any way to identify whether the person had this already much earlier uh, in his body. If there is any, any way to prove something like this. But what I have stated here is in definite fact, he has undergone two stages of coronavirus. I think the first one in 2010 and the second one in 2013. Uh, he already have gone through that way before that. He was in a basement, whatever, in his home doing some other homework. That much about the Matka Polka. And I think I have identified one to the last millimeter, as far as one can possibly identify one. Um, the housing area which I have demonstrated, this is I don't actually need anybody to tell anything. It's, it's just, as I walk through the area, it, it talks to me. I don't actually need any, any, any kind of clues or anything like this. There's a table right, uh, a sign right there, hotel, okay? That's a building right there, look at it. Gotta see this to to point out to make sure. This is the building where we would stay. 
Uh, I hope I point the right one. I'm just going to go across the street. And guess what? There was another some kind of building here. But this was be, this would be like the main building. But then there was some other building too. Yeah, yeah, there was another building. Uh, Sebastian did not thought about really well yesterday, right? When he was doing this kind of stuff. Uh, not completely straight. Uh, okay, but not good enough. Let's go and let's zoom to the same place. Today is the 17th. And we're going to see basically what the intersection looks like again. This is exactly where I was. And this is exactly the sign. I want to go back to this sign right here. You see, the sign. It says hotel. It's an old sign. You know where this hotel was? I'm going to tell you where the hotel was. Right here. Right here across the street. Did you see this? This stuff that you see right here? Let me see it. This is basically exactly where this hotel was. Right here. Um... I'm actually thinking it was actually behind this thing. It was something like this. There was a hotel here. All right. So this basically is where another structure, another building was that I have completely forgotten about. All right. So you want to test my knowledge about the things? Uh, go ahead and make my day. This thing here, when this thing came to life, I don't know, probably in 2013, maybe 2010, I would say. This is basically what I estimate. But you know, in MKUltra terms, this is a long, long, long time ago. If you have ability to recall, according to MKUltra staff members, what went on five years or something like this, you have an average IQ. If you have ability to go further down, and I went to 96, that's already like very seldom stuff according to the MK Ultra professionals, staff members that were into books, that were in psychiatrists and so on. So as I'm raging uh, through, through all these years back and forth, basically jiggling them back and forth, this is quite actually outstanding, yeah. And I was standing when recording this right here, okay? So check this out. Again, today is May 17, 2020. It just got to me right inside of the room where the hotel was. This is where Borat Pahar would stay. Um, the lady kind of gave me somehow at least something about at least those rook. Rook. This here is not a residence. I anticipate it would be a hostel but we did stay here eventually the owner left rugs like this uh pani mogę was wypytać jedną rzecz no to jest dobrze ale to co mate jakie to na polsku divani tak divan Ta jeszcze wygląda tak jak nowy, ale to powinno mieć nieki inny. No rozumiem, rozumiem, rozumiem. Ale to stoi, że dużo lat, tak, że dużo lat stoi to. Dużo, to, to więcej niż 10 lat stoi to. No, 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 no. Nie, ale, ale divan, divan, divan. No. Ok. Bardzo dziękuję. Do widzenia. You wouldn't say this is already like 10 years here, but it is. Um, lady says 15 years not. 
says the stuff that you see here on the side, not 10 years. Doesn't matter. What matters is we were here. We were here some. That's what matters. How oh, many? About 18, 19, maybe even 20 years ago, right here. The buildings, this is, this is why I got pulled into the street. Uh, which they told me they're going to leave the rock just to remind me of where I was, basically. But those were uh, three residences. Of these three residences, the one where the lady is, is was the one where we would stay most of the time. And it's interesting that at the beginning stages, these people would be very motivated to help me then. Going through the city yesterday, I actually ended up in an area. I had it over this hostel. Uh, I did get a little bit confused with another city. I'm going to tell you that one street, when I saw it, I blended with another street, but I entered that street anyways. And just as you're about to see, then I had it through the park, which I recognized. Uh, further down that street, there are people that I remember too. The gentleman that I have met the other day in the park. Uh, and that's on completely other opposite side of the city. Okay, uh, again, this is the street I just was in, this I continue to it this way, there's a Carrefour here, Oshan, Aushan, Aushan, uh, and I had it right through here, to this area here, which you see, but this is a park here, although you cannot see it, this is a park. Uh, the gentleman I'm talking about I have met, wow, I met him here. I met him eventually here, um, right here, really, really not too far from the lake. Basically here somewhere I, I met him with a dog. Now the thing about him is I was trying to identify him and I saw in my head the vision I had was correct one. But I, did, I don't know the city yet, I did not know the city yet at all. No, he lives actually, I believe, here, in this area here. If you would zoom into this thing here, oh, this is like on the other side of the city, uh, really, really other side of the city, basically. Oh, let me see that, Vulcanizatia. So this, is, this should be, I, in my opinion, this is probably one of the streets here that you would go, something like this, that you would turn inside and then it would be one of the houses, something like this. Yeah, I would have to go and walk through here, folks, uh, in real time. I have never even walked in there, only when I was dropped up, basically. So this is what makes this place so exclusive. The park I'm talking about, basically, is this here, just as I have indicated earlier. This here are the old ruins. And this here is where I had it crossing these rivulets. And this is where I met the couple later on. You're not gonna see me repeating this. When I do the tower here, when I talk about the tower, there is a little, little thing here that you see right there. And you're gonna see like a little shanty house Dome, a small little house, wooden made. Oh, that one is was also a super, super, super old one. Super old one. Uh, I got confused with it. I got confused with it. You know why I got confused with it? It's because, uh, let me see if I can demonstrate so you get an idea basically what this looks like. You can actually not even see from here anything. I see this. Yeah. I got confused.
because of the wall like this because of the stuff like this that they placed along the road and so when you would approach this little house no longer would be there it would be right behind you have no way to see anything behind that little house you don't get to see anything this is what they did they they place that thing that actually covers everything so you cannot see you cannot really see anything there going on as a matter of fact well, let me see this okay that's yeah this right here this would be the area a little bit more ah you're about to see that in a movie um oh, i'm trying to is this here this is what it is ah you can never forget this picture this birches like this you're gonna see on the movie this is where you go across here uh, and you're gonna see in continuation what that looks like that gentleman with that little house was the gentleman that wanted to help me out wow this was one of the oldest people there since the day when we came to this area when we came to this place he was out there to help me always came out to greet me um, from the front yard on the street how is with me and this and that that I will not forget about him and this and that well one day this is really sad I would love to know what happened to him uh, this elderly couple how they are doing it would be nice to know where they are what's going on with them they were gone basically and the house was covered I will explain continuation a uh, Slovenian politician did stay here at this place. He was staying in Borat Pahoris, I'm talking about. He was staying here. And just a little bit, just a little further. Uh, what you see right here, this is like an oldest business here. There are two businesses. One was Vulcanizer, a tire specialist. Um, old. But I think this one here is like the oldest. This is like oldest of the oldest, this, this business right here. This, what you see here. This is old, old, old. Now the building somehow is renovated, but this is, in this street, I think this is the oldest one. Now, where I am heading right now, is this here and this is something you cannot forget already when you come here this is gonna take me straight to the place where we used to be and I have no idea where I'm heading but I know I'm heading in the right direction because I remember the road is what I remember you see I remember the road I remember those birch trees you see right there birches and this way if you would go you would get into like a new housing area basically you would get to a new housing area and it's possibility that the individual who was with me inside of the park the other day eventually it's possible thing that he lives in a house somewhere like i have stated on the phone something like this this here you can never forget this stuff here this is going to take me straight to where we used to stay here and you can really not forget this this is like uh, what you see this tree is here okay this bush here did you see this is new this was not here when i was when I would be here, there was none of this stuff here. So this this is like sort of, I don't know, camouflage, whatever you want to call this. This bush here that you see, none of this stuff was here. This is new stuff they, they planted, I guess, or something like this. What, I, what it was, it was those birch trees right there that you see, those bigger 
birch is right there and the road like it is this is the stuff that you no way you possibly could forget so let's head over there and we're gonna see where exactly we, we are even heading completely far away from 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 there uh, with a dog I believe is one of the people who lives in that street a recording I actually have uh, but anyhow, I, I went through this park and I met a group of gentlemen which after identifying an old ruin from the building, a group of gentlemen which, yeah, they were like age somewhere between 37, 40, 42, so something there. Uh, an even older one that would drink vodka and they did just as they promised they would do. Um, now, they really, really pushed me. Uh, they wanted to really know if I would recognize them. Now, the thing about it is that not only I have recognized them, uh, one of the gentlemen, one of the gentlemen, and I regretfully have to su say so, and this is going to probably shock a lot of viewers right now, Polish viewers. One of the gentlemen, when I met him first, was one of the most, was like a leader of the group. He was very intelligent, very bright strong, uh, firm, and liked me a lot for all the wrong reasons, for all the wrong reasons, reasons that did not even represent my real views really. Liked me a lot because I was accompanied by also Americans, I was accompanied by, there was a guy actually from New Zealand also that, that popped up on that picture and eventually what happened was they had done something to him they put him something a pill either pill that basically dements you that 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 makes you almost like a baby you become demented basically destroyed they destroy him and it was not the Russians who did this it was not the Russians who did this I'm saying this because it's important to me to acknowledge that same thing happened to the gentleman in Lodge who suffered Parkinson. Same thing happened to a girl that works in Bavuti. This is the place which I have identified. It's where the office is, where the gentleman gestures me that he knows the Chris, that Chris had a hostel in Chicago and stuff like this. It wasn't, it wasn't the Russians who did this. It was not a KGB that did this. KGB did bad stuff in 96. In the Czech Republic, they were still really bad. But it was about the Škoda factory. That was really bad. That's where we got to know each other. It was in 97, and it was in 98. It was stupid enough to go with 99 and 2000 and uh, I don't know, 2001 and 2002 were still stupid enough to actually compel me, compel, compel Polish authorities to put me inside of the uh, mental hospital between Aleksandr Lodzki and Zgierz. Yes, indeed. Uh, and it's when Elon Musk gesture me that they are working on it to save me out basically insane uh, a US citizen as I was I ended up inside of the mental asylum in Poland under MK Ultra literally on request of the some stupid really stupid Russians that were more like light-minded they did not really they just wanted some kind of a badass recognition like what we do you know what we can do in Poland 
there is nothing we cannot do. The thing about it is that they were observed and huge advantage was taken over this stupidity. And it was a bunch of Polish lives destroyed by Poles alone. And they blame it all on Russians. This is, this is basically how it goes. It is, so this, this kind of stuff is very dangerous stuff. This is stuff you don't want to do, stuff like this. Uh, in other countries, especially in, in this kind of circumstances, quite crazy, quite, quite unimaginable to do this stuff like this. Now, the thing is that it was Americans that triggered the tensions between everybody. And so that the Russians felt like really in a way intimidated. They felt like it was discrimination. It was a racism here in Poland. I'm going to tell you straight. And it triggered their response to that. It triggered the response to that. They felt that they have more rights to be here than Americans, basically. They have every right to be here, which basically they do. This is a Slavic country. And they went a little bit beyond that, and they're a little bit exaggerated with that stuff. And that became really, really costly then. It turned into a really, really costly price. So it was not all about this KGB bad and this and that. This gentleman, once they gave him the pill, and I actually even know who this was. This is why I say Paul's did it. Turned into like a baby. It turned into the same kind of personality I have encountered in Slovenia with individual who was growing up with me. Um, this was a gentleman who have uh, mental disability, basically. And they put him in the same class, and he just could not catch the class, and, and uh, he had a problems. He had a problems doing stuff. And so when I saw this gentleman yesterday, recognizing completely, he still hangs around the same group. I did not only, he became like, gain a lot of weight. I did not only became, you know, that I would recognize who these guys are. I went back in time. You're talking about the school years. You're talking about the high school now. He had a very good grades up to then. And then sometimes I believe that about probably a year before the graduation or something like this, it was cut. Uh, so if you want the proof, if you would be looking for the proof, you would only go to his school grades, to his school record from the high school. This is how far, this is when we met with his kids. This is when I met these kids. So when you say, when was I here in, Alexa uh, in, in this uh, suburb of Łódź? This is a suburb of Łódź. This is just on the edge of Łódź on the south side. I can tell you that this goes way, way, way back. This is how far I have recognized guys yesterday, if somebody wants to doubt me. Out of all this group, and you're talking about six guys here, there was only one gentleman that actually got the job, like, semi-IT jobs, something that actually opened him the opportunity for the future, money, something like group of kids from center of the lodge, where Galeria Lodzka is, have managed to accomplish. That's why I commend these kids, and I'm also committed to do something good with these kids. They're good kids. They're really good kids. Uh, I can understand in a way even that Poland would go through this stuff just to maybe prove them that intentions behind this stuff was sincere. If only they would not go and do the stuff like they did in this factory over there in this gear shift. They only would not go and destroy me the personal belongings. I would be more than happy to go through this because it was interesting trip. And I think it was a healing trip. I think it was a healing trip, not only for me, but it was a healing trip for the people who finally met me in person, people who have invested tremendously a lot of time uh, with idea to help me out, and people who started to see me for something 
I had nothing to do with. As I no longer even saw myself as I was, as all this stuff started, I, I started to see things. In many ways also because I did not have a choice. It's easier to deal through the stuff once you get a politician like Donald Trump who was involved in it on a political stage. You don't get the things going unless you push certain things around for you and so on and so forth. In a way, when I think what I did, I can actually not think of anything like this. I have not seen anything like this personally. I have not seen anything like this. Because around me, forced a political stream that was from all backgrounds you possibly can imagine. And they were not only as diversified, but they were polarized tremendously. And for you to get the game going, and then you have to do some insane stuff that otherwise you would not. But in some ways, I feel I did go too far anyways. But I did well. I did what otherwise I don't think anybody possibly could accomplish. I did. Once I start to identify this gentleman as per, you know, per their professions and stuff like this, um, they don't want to speak to me. It's a gentleman that appears that I have recognized who told me that they are going to, this was monitor, this was video monitor, this was everything on the cameras. They watch absolutely everything you do, every step. They did not find themselves in a group right there for coincidence, but they really wanted to see how much do I remember and how much am I willing to stand up for myself because you're going to hear some in Polish language, it's going to be some really angry stuff. It's going to be threatening stuff. It's going to be all kinds of stuff, but this is just to put me to the test, to see how much I remember, really. These are actually really a, a small town heroes, I would say. They drank vodka. They did not do well in life. And it's why I'm saying that this was a very difficult choice, not only for me, but also for them. That's why in many ways I share destiny with the Polish people and I want to share one. It's just that I want something to be done about what's happening, really. It's not acceptable. The stuff I have mentioned earlier, that's the stuff that's not acceptable. Look, people in, in Warsaw even get arrested for going out in the protest to basically exercise public right to free speech. Uh, they just go and do about the same thing that Putin did in Moscow and so on. People just disappear and stuff. It's not good stuff. And this is in best interest of everyone that happens abroad as well as in Poland. Things here must change. Things, mu think, things in Poland must change. This is why I exercised pressure on this. As it appears to me, there is not enough initiative from people alone in Poland uh, for the wheel for change. And the country needs change. As I proceeded from the group, the gentleman I have recognized is about 165, 170 tall. This is an old gentleman that looks like very Israeli. He actually reminded me of the president, I think it was Sharon of Israel. This is a short gentleman. He has a dog, like a poodle, he always had, and lives right as you would exit the forest area from this park. He lives in the building which is located, I believe, it's a, like a triangle of the buildings. He would be in this building here. He is, I don't know, some kind of non-official, I would say, title he held. Something like, you know, public underground related issues kind of stuff. 
And yeah, when I started, when we started the talk and this, and it got loud, he appeared right there. Everything was silent and they started to push me away. You have to go, you have to go, you have to go. They would not want to talk. Uh, they started to, I don't think, maybe one gentleman was drunk. Others question if they were even drunk. I doubt they were even drunk. Uh, they just, they simply, uh, as if they would be afraid of something like this, but this is actually a signal. And I remember him because he told me, if you're going to get too loud, if things are going to get like this and tra la 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 la, then I'm going to appear and give them a signal and that will end your interview in that case. But I got an interview that means that I have identified six people. And as I proceeded, I have identified another couple. A gentleman whom I have spoken with, I have pointed out location of his apartment. That he lives in this apartment building as well. Uh, and I was sure that he lived with a mom, but it was a father, actually, he lived with. These people doubted that I possibly could remember something like this because this went, this went way back, uh, way back in time. He was a member of this group, and from what I remember, this was actually of all these six guys, not of all these six guys, but this was one of the guys that managed to get himself something in life, like wife, eventually. You know, this girl, this wife that you're about to hear, this was the girl that actually had fallen for me. She's 43, the guy's 37, and they have a baby together. They live together. Um, and so the life went. So somebody wants to doubt about my presence here in the past. It's, uh, this is a joke, right? Something like this. Of course, I remember the whole town. I remember the houses where I was, even if they were private houses. I indicate about the house prior to, um, to the park. It's also the house where we were with Borut Pahor. Love that house. Borut Pahor was big in 98, 99, 2000. And later, too. Uh, it would be everywhere around with Kaczynskis. Kaczynskis were number one politicians. They were like the chosen one, really, to run the show. Uh, and Kaczynski grew like a baby, became a mentor of Duda. Duda became as early involved as uh, one of the earliest uh, people involved in this stuff from the Polish side. Moraviecki too, but Moraviecki did not participate as much as Duda did. Um, so, but this is what this like looks like. Uh, now I do have other proofs. I do, I'm going to put other videos and stuff about MK Ultra. Uh, MK Ultra, my presence under MK Ultra in Poland, and so. This is the way it is. This is the way it is. I want to thank to these guys, to this group of guys. I want to thank them. I did not video record anyone. I did not took any pictures. I did not talk any any anything. Uh, and uh, I'm grateful for it. The gentleman I have mentioned, I have not spoken with one, but I remember everything about him. So he's some kind of a functioner. Uh, either he holds public or non-public function. I don't know, but hell everybody respects him. Hell everybody listens to him. Uh, is starshi, starishina, like they would say in, in Slovenian language. Uh, I mentioned something, I don't know, what about a little house, a little chanty next to the tower that you're about to see. 
uh, along this construction site. That one must have been built sometimes in 2013, something like this. This is just used as a temporary storage, material storage, something like this. That did not play any importance uh, in the past when I was in this area. 2013, I say, about 2013. Not important, something to simply disregard. Uh, Angela Merkel was the one that secured the contract for Carrefour, for the big store Carrefour. Uh, Angela Merkel, <laughs> I mean, I remember when this, they would come to the city with the money, the whole city would be completely tense. They, it would be preparations that would take place. They would clean the streets, they would repair themselves. It was a tension, I remember, tremendous tension. People were nervous. They were completely nervous when these investments came around. Uh, and so they did, they were not always hanging around, but I remember her in, in this is not Rzhgov, this is already Loch area, we're talking about South Loch, Gorna area, basically. Uh, they would meet me with uh, French, with all this team, uh, Sarkozy, now president of France, Macron, and so on. This would be people that would actually deal money, basically. This was like a bankier. They would have business people, politicians have always business people around them and then they would just make deals. And they got this like for dirty, dirty, dirty cheap stuff. For a dirty low, dirty cheap, they got going, these things. Poland was really completely on knees. You have no idea what this was like. Yeah. You wanna say to me that I don't remember it, and really, I probably remember more than Angela Merkel who was not drugged up what went on here. I remember more than the people that were not drugged up what went on here. When you say who remembers what, basically. Yeah, that's the way it is. Everything you're about to hear, see, was recorded yesterday on Saturday, May 16, 2020. That's all. Uh, who remembers what? Uh, year 2010, I probably estimate Carrefour deal. Year 2013 probably is when the local, I would say, politician, I, I don't think that was a large mayor, but to tell you the truth, I don't know who, who the local for the district person in charge is either. I don't know. But this was the person that was in charge for this part of the town for this that eventually managed these sales to the foreign investors told me that the second parcel already was sold and then somehow they could not come to an agreement because of something like this some kind of ridiculous stuff something like that eventually they halt the sale. So how much do remember, who remembers what? Uh, I think, boy, that uh, if you can remember that much, that uh, dropped up, that this is quite a considerable amount of information, actually. So basically that this, for the second parcel that you're about to see that is just like flat steel, that is nothing there, like some kind of construction started, Actually, the deal was already made. So it may be that if you would go into a books, into a sale books, something like this, that you probably could already found the sale as done, as completed. But somehow reversed or something like this, I have no idea precisely on what happened. I'm not sure. Or could be that that it was a business that bought this already and is coming to an area or whatever. But this was not in 2015, no, in 2013. And I know because in 2015, Poland waited on me in 2000 and they were certain I'm going to come in 2000 and, 
in 2015. 2017, the last. And I was in Poland in 2017, just uh, to the airport and to the terrace pool and on my way uh, running out of the European Union through Ukraine straight into the Belarus. This is really funny story, folks. This is this is really amazing one. And so even this kind of a stuff, Sebastian remembers, even that far we can go as far as my memory, even this we can do it. As recording this stuff, I go beyond, I go further, I can't help myself. A gentleman who had a, a taller gentleman who had a black dress also lives in an apartment. In fact, as a roommate, he had one of the guys over there that were together. Uh, the gentleman whose sign you're about to see, it, it says on this tower, Bandido. Uh, This is the gentleman who calms down. This is a darker gentleman that kind of really looks like a little bit Hispanic. And uh, he was the one who gave himself a name Bandido. And he is right there in the circle of these guys. You see, so for every one of them, if you give me a chance, I can just go further and further and further and just see the information, just pull the information from the past, from the memory. Yes. This is recorded on 17, basically the next day inside of this place we're making all these movies. I did not even go outside of the home yet today. And boy, it's already 10 past 4 o'clock. Playing at, basically. This is always the case. It's always the case, with the stuff that you see right there. It's always next to, it was always some kind of building like this that it would be there and they told me they're gonna leave some signs for me and stuff like this to look for it. You know, I kind of don't believe this stuff. I do not believe this stuff is so. This stuff was so. Uh, um, oh, here on that MK Ultra, they had me in those ruins. You know how many buildings like this in Poland? I was. Uh, you have no idea. Still, it's here. It's all the ruin. But you could see that every location, whatever I was, it was something like this. Always was something like this. This kind of stuff. This is exactly what uh, what happened, this thing here. This ruin here that you see right here, this is what Justina told me happened. Um, she brought me here. This building, what you see right here, this thing here, they collapsed this. I don't know what was it, why. Frustration with me, anger, I have no idea. But it was supposedly, supposedly were some kind of proofs here for me whatever that was that I misbehaved I guess uh, so I don't know maybe in 2010 maybe something like this the whole thing collapsed like this even this I remember this was still there still was this thing here this structure was still up and there might have been something on this structure something like this and they crushed one down more likely, I would say 2013. And this thing is still here. Oh, uh, this this here not, but what is next to Borat Pahar was the one who insisted on. Oh, uh, let's see this stuff here. What is what can still be seen here? Oh, this is completely rewritten. And painted over and all kinds of stuff. Basically, newer generations painted over Yustka. I'm going to put it this way. And that's the way it should be.
we are not here to last forever. Stupidities must be replaced by other stupidities. This is the way it is. And the young people need a space for themselves too. This is just the way it is. This is precisely how it is. And they loved nothing more than these buildings, like this abandoned, where they could be. They could associate together and have a beer and talk and fantasize, basically. Whatever they fantasized about. It's what I actually even like about why I like Poland about. It's one of the reasons why I like one. Because they can still get together like this, young people, and kick back and be together, socialize. There isn't much here left for people to do. There's no rivers, there's no lakes here. This is just a big city, a suburb of the big city. This here, Walid Pahar claim like museum here. Very little can you see anything out of this here. This is all gone. Already some other mines took over. Just as young. A ritual place. Inside of the Mary Hospital I have spoken about, the entrance is what I'm talking about. You would pass the elevator shortly, turn right, and you would eventually go upstairs. Those are short stairs, they are not wide stairs. Then you will get up, then you would, then there is a long, long, long hallway you would go. You would, you would just go long, 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 and then you go upstairs. Probably about long, 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 I don't know. Long, maybe, I don't know, maybe once you get up there to the main entrance, maybe another I have no idea, 20, 20 something meters toward the opposite side. And those are the white stairs that you would go up there. The main entrance to this building, it came to me, he is going basically up there. But we wouldn't go. We would go from, from the ground, we would go. And if, you would, and if you would go from the other entrance, as I stated, that's not the entrance uh, where we would be heading. Then you would turn left. The psychologist got lost, American got lost like this a few times. The reason why we were here in this place is because some of the Americans, uh, maybe even Israelis, I have no idea, they suffered total exhaustion on the way from Grotniki to Zgershom back. This is, this is where he got them, Alexandro Lochki, uh, Grotniki, Alexander Lodzki's gear, area. They would suffer such exhaustion that eventually they would brought them in there. 
they would take them up there and it was it was not one it was not two it was quite several of them actually and it all depended on your status what kind of status you had if you were already some kind of politician or something well established or something you got a top floor uh, area that I have stayed like kind of a penthouse facing the other side of the building if not you have found yourself in what Americans gesture was a shithole this is just the way it is what I don't remember what when the hell was this sometimes in the year 2000 long long time ago long time ago maybe even 99 who knows uh, this here, Jose Bandito, uh, this is actually a Polish guy. This was a Polish guy who told me, gave himself Jose Bandito. But just seeing this here, that Bandito basically means Bandit. That's not a good way to call yourself. Yes, I already have stated uh, who the gentleman is. You are about to hear him uh, in the last, when I returned back uh, from talking to a couple, when I returned to the group one more time on my way back, uh, he is the one who asked me to please leave. Actually, where he got this bandito name, I have no idea, because he's a really nice guy. But he told me that he goes by that name, that some girls know him by that name, and stuff like this. So, that's that. It is a little bit self-disrespectful, I believe. Because you automatically place yourself on a... on a short side of the story, I would say. This tree must have been like almost, I would say something like this branch when I first came here. And I was here before that. This, this here, this tree that you see here, this. The tree? The tree is 20 years old. Let's suppose that you're a professional, that you know about the trees. Go and you check the tree, how old the tree is. It's 20 years old. Do you know how I know? You're going to see the sign behind the tree. It says where you go piss. This is a piss area. This is where we go piss. When these kids were in high school and they had me here, in the high school, you understand? This tree was just like I explained in the video. And this is where they would go release themselves. I was one time, they told me about the tree, that they're going to leave this tree, that is going to remind me of me and this and that. If I would remember and this and that. And I was angry. And I wanted to go and stumble this tree because under MK Ultra. I was angry. I didn't like MK Ultra, not even a little bit. And they stopped me. No, 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 he was laughing. No, 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 he wants to do that. And he was off the picture. And that moment still lives inside of my head. It was like this. It was like nothing. This here, it was nothing here. And I'm going to tell you that uh, this here written, this is quite old actually what you see right here. This is quite old. This is uh, quite old stuff. But it's, uh, you know, everything is written over, destroyed, so there's nothing really left. One of the staff members was actually from the New Zealand. You see right there, you see it, NZ, and he was quite racist. And that thing was left right there. And that's about almost the only thing I can remember about this whole thing. He was here, one of the first people. 
And just to remind me, they did that thing, the circle and cross one with NZ inside of it. So that's basically that is. I yet have to see what it means of Srantsov. Oh. Yebach Novozelandsky Hosranzo, that was eventually the guy in the whole taller guy um, who was interested in my glasses yesterday in a black he wear black and he had uh, I think two ladies here something like that this was Yebach Novozelandsky Hosranzo Ob, Ob Sranzo, something like this New Zealand, that guy was very disrespectful. Uh, he had a racist views, and the gentleman I have mentioned about that he was reduced to nothing started to display very unfriendly relation toward other Poles in this area. He started to see himself as more worthy and them as less worthy just uh, through really, really hateful ways. So somebody told me, instead of him doing bad stuff to us, um, I guess he really started to see like, it's not gonna be like this, we're gonna be like this, and they're gonna be like this, and start to, to, to see himself separate from community. We did to him exactly what he wanted to do to us. This was just justification. Angela Merkel was here. You see this fence here? When we were here, there was no fence. There was nothing here first. What you see right there? That's a Carrefour. Nothing was here. Nothing was here. This was just a plain, 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 like this. Plain thing. I remember her saying, one was, I already got, got one, is gonna be Aushan, Carrefour. I already got one, that one, I got to one, she said. And then the other one, we also don't know what we are going to do, and this is a parcel here. This is the parcel here. Uh, now the thing is that once I start to uh, zoom myself into something, you know, it doesn't come to you immediately. But once you walk away, you know, once you walk away and you're doing completely other stuff and this is how it works with me. And in the rear you have process working, you know, processor processing information that you just saw it. If it's just, uh, who knows, you know, who knows, interesting enough, whatever. I can tell you right now, either was a mayor of this town or was a person in charge for this district. Eventually, I think it was a mayor of the woods that he would come down south. Uh, but they had their own people also here in this area. And the district individual, whoever was in charge for this stuff, Number one parcel that was sold, number one, was the one where media expert is located. That was number one. Number two parcel was Carrefour. And it's probably what Frau Merkel thought about the two parcels. The third parcel uh, already sold, deal done, everything but somehow did not go through because it was something, some kind of ridiculous, something little that they asked and they would not go into and the deal did not go through. Like this it was. I'm going to tell you, you're talking, this is the third parcel actually I'm talking about. Uh, I zoomed right now into year 2010. What I put information is either from 2010 or maybe 2008. Maybe from 2008 eventually. 
it's how far I can go with this stuff. Maybe even more. I don't know. This is the, this is this is how far I can go with this stuff. When talking, when relating to something, when watching something, that I can put information. And Z, when is this? How? When was this New Zealand guy here? They had tremendous problem with. And I am thinking, I don't know, I don't know what to actually pull out of this here, but when this guy from New Zealand was here, I don't know, 2003 maybe, 2004, I have no idea, this goes so back in time. Uh, and they didn't dedicate this to him immediately when he was here. Oh, this stuff came up when he was gone already. The rest of the stuff is what Beethoven would say, just a symphony, audio recordings. Uh, number one took place about from from right there where I was, this little tower, maybe, I don't know, uh, 50 meters, 60 meters, something like this away, maybe 70 yards, something from there. The guys waited me. They obviously knew I'm going to proceed. They obviously know about direction I'm about to proceed. There was no other way you could go any in any other direction. Uh, and then is a continuation of the couple whom I have also recognized. Uh, and then I return one more time. I have conversation with these guys. I try to uh, stimulate them somehow and talk. And uh, basically that's all there is to it. I really want to thank everyone. They as I walk toward Carrefour, they scream after me that I did record them and so on. Uh, but the thing is that they told me this is going to be the case already on NRMK Ultra. So these guys knew that I'm doing this stuff. This is number... The last, but maybe not the last. Everything I have stated today, I have already stated in the audio yesterday. Jen Dobry. Uh, so that uh, there would be any, no suspicions or anything like this as I walk I comment that I got some information from someone from somewhere or something like this none of that stuff that's the way it's done folks uh, thanks for watching this uh, this one until next time huh? Dobrze, że łapie, ja też prawda. Okej, okay. gdzie ty tutaj zasedłeś? Wódkę pijesz? Wódkę? Polska, Polska wódka, popie, najlepsza. Nie ma, 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 nie <śmiech> nie przepraszaj mnie, jestem nigdzie no, nie no, 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 A co ty masz w tym pytaniu? Aparat? To się tak pod was nie Nie, bo wiesz co? No, ja teściowa to... moja ma wadę wzroku, wiesz? To może mi tutaj coś podpowiesz, co ja mam jej powiedzieć? Bo pan. Bo jesteś w Wiem, to jest seba. Słuchaj. I jak ma... Ty, Masz okulary? Jak, 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 czy... Bo... Nie mogę tego zrozumieć, że grubość, grubość tego, tego szkła, wiem, że to robi. Rozmawiasz ze mną, czy masz mnie w dupie? Borsko, a że ci trochę pana? Masz mnie w dupie, czy rozmawiasz ze mną?
Jak go odbijamy, no to odbijamy, no. Ja chciałem się tutaj zapytać o tym Marcianu. Lek przy ciebie, lek przy ciebie, bo oni pijani są, pijani są, pijani. Nie, chciałem się tylko zapytać, czy, słuchaj, jeżeli szkoła jak kupujesz, nie, do okularów, no, no, no. to... Konia, tam! Boś robi jakąś różnicę, czy po prostu to się zawiera, wiesz. Może być. Takie różnice. Że musisz mieć takie, kurwa, czy takie. O to mi się no, rozchodzi. No, no. I moja teściowa ma wadę wzroku. Aha. I dlatego się pytam o to. Ale wie, a jest, że, czy, czy to jest w ogóle różnica? Czy <śmiech> można ewentualnie więcej zapłacić, a żeby były cięższe, cięższe szkiełka? Czy trzeba zapłacić już? Tak samo i ma być nie mieć takie, no bo nie wiem jak to tam wada wzroku. No sobie ja stałem tu niespotykane i my. Ja nie mam pojęcia no. jak ma, to może być. O, ta, o ja nie wiem. Może być dużo przyczyn, nie? Zważę, no może właśnie. Być atematy, może być minus, może być no właśnie o to mi chodzi, żeby nie chodziło o takich brylach. Tylko żeby miała, wiesz, cienkie kurwa no, tego. No, 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 no. O ja do internetu to ja ci powiem co kurwa. Ja do internetu to tyle tylko. Ja to pokażę. Dawaj. Za palara. Rozumiesz te masz? Ale dobra, ale dobra. A, do tego trzeba mieć naprawdę duże bryle. Do tego tak. Faktycznie, masz rację, do tego trzeba mieć duże bryle. Co to jest, bo to jest? Uniwersalnie. Ty jesteś sobie pofem. Tym tak jak zapierdolę, kurwa. Ty jesteś 30 metrów, kurwa. Ty jesteś sobie pofem. Ty gaszę bociana z 30 metrów. Zwiedzi i rozpierdali. Przepraszam, że. Nie, 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 My Polacy? Nie jesteśmy tacy? Co ty Polacy idą na Zina. My gramy w pierwszej lidze, nie bo ten kurczak. Ja pierdolę. O, Sonia mi tam. Ja myślałem, że Ale mieszkają na holach chyba nie za bardzo. Nie, osiem do widzenia, bo tu tak no, no, okay. Okay. Coś takiego? Tu masz Sebastian. 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 Żeby coś spalić na internecie, tak? Nie, nic, tak. nic nie sprawdzę. No to muszę zobaczyć na internecie. A umie łapać? Umie. Sonia umie łapać. Jest tam ja jest. 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 Moja morda. I gra teraz w pierwszej lidze. Jest. 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 Jak ktoś tu szalik bierze, ile pierdala. To gdzie jest? Gdzie jest? Ci, że... Tak robuj ci się jak na Polaka, ty, a nie? No właśnie się no, to nie to nie ja to jest ja to jest ja to jest ja to jestem w pierwszym no, no, jak będziemy ale, Sebastian ale powiem ci, że do, powiem ci tak do ekstra ja klasy jeszcze awansujemy tak, tak sam nie? ja ci dam nóżkę Rozumiem, i do ekstra klasy tak przyszedł ja tutaj tak sam 10 lat temu Byłem na tym wiosem dwa tygodnie, tu byłeś tym wiosem dwa tygodnie. Ale zobacz, że znalazłeś. Ty mi mówisz, kiedy ja przyjdę tu. Nie, nie, nie. Nie pamiętam go. Znalazłeś. Nie pamiętam go. Znalazłeś. A, widziałeś? O, ho, ty. Co to robaj? Ja to ja nie było. Znasz ty, że nie było. Ja 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 nie było. Black? Oddaj. 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 Sonia? To jest? Czy to jest? Będziemy tu. I co to jest? Mogę wam zrobić. Mogę wam zrobić. Mogę wam zrobić. Mogę Akurat puściliśmy no to może przed kolejkę. Rozumiesz, że to tak jest? I tak się stało, że żeśmy się spotkali. Co ja byłem? Zobacz, kurde. 
Nie ma mowy. Gdzie jest ten jest? Dobra. A teraz ty masz nie ma nie ma wiata na wariata. Ty mówisz, że to ja byłem? Ty. Ty zapomniałeś? Nie, nie, to ja bym nie słuchał waszą rozmowę. Co się stało? Wy się pamiętacie, do tego. O! Panie Kocha! Ja mogę tam na tym kamieniu ująć. Ja bardzo proszę. Ja też dobrze proszę. No ryba ma. Ej, panie. Przepraszam, bo to są luźne gadki. No, chyba już nie. Jak mi się wydaje. To jest to cała ekipa, że to było. To? Cała ekipa, to było. No bo skąd? Nie wszak to było. Z rymniapkiem to jak przypierdolę, to tam perfur, kurwa. To! Pole, widzę, widzę, pole. Pani Kowalski. 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 Pani a którą masz godzinę? Którą masz godzinę? Powiedz, powiedz mi skąd ty nie znam. Dupia był go w Nowizia. Nie, 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 Zobacz, zobacz, tower. Nie, tower. Będzie wykurwa, nie odrosła. A wiesz to, nie? Nie, 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 Because you fucked him up, we did something to him. When you say, I don't remember, watch out, because I remember a lot. I remember everything. You, may, you remember me? Do you remember me? Do you remember me? Nie, 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 Jemu? Ja to znam, a ty mu zrobisz to takie głupie. Dawid, no to głupi po polsku. Ty mu zrobisz to takie głupie. Nie, kurwa. To o co ci chodzi? Bo już agresja zrobiła. Ej, 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 uwagi, uwagi. Ale ty mi nie wpierdalaj. Ty pan już sobie agresja zrobiła. Tego to mówię. Kurwy synu. Ale nie wpierdalaj. Matka Polska niedaleko. No dobrze. No to kurwa, mów po imieniu. Jesteś Sebastian? Ale ja ci nic nie zrobię, tylko że chodzi o to, że... No nie dobrze, dobrze. Ale ja, ja, ja kocham zwierzęta tak. i dzikich ludzi. Robimy tak. Jeżeli weź z mną, tak. Ja to nie ja nie, ja nie, ja nie, ja ja nie, ja nie, ja ja nie, ja chcę tą formę. Ja chcę sobie z mną, okej. Nie, ja chcę tą formę. Nie, ja chcę tą formę. Nie, ja chcę mieć przyjaciół. No dobrze, to zapraszamy. No. Tylko, że chciałem, żebyś mi powiedział, co mnie pamięta. I że że Kim 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 Ale ona wie, ona wie. Rozumiem, żebyśmy powiedział szczegóły, bo nie wiem, w więzieniu się spotkaliśmy ze sobą, gdzie, bo nie wiem. Czy masz kamienia? Daj kamienia. Widząc po okularach, gdzie nie było. Nie wiem, po drugie. 
Ja wiem, że to jest wronka, ale nie ma co mam Ja nie mogę Dlatego chcę, żebyś mi powiedział. Nie. No jak? Nie, 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 my co jesteśmy bracy? bo ja mu nie przyjebałem, bo ja mu nie ale po co? Albo jestem. Dziękuję bardzo. Ale to Ale to Ale to Ale to Ale Zanim on sobie to wyrysował, to ja sobie wyrysował. Ja wolę sobie porzucać kamienie. Ale spróbuj go ogarnąć. Co ci tutaj za Z tego gośka? Nie tak. Ten ogarnąć. pan, chyba myślę, że <grym> najbardziej nie rozumie. Ten pan, najstarszy pan ma najwięcej racji. No, no, no. Ja tak uważam. A ty? Cicho. Masz tu chodź do pana. Cicho, cicho, cicho. Kurwa, cicho. Cicho. Kto ma ten plecak? Kuczaj. Ty na ale to jest to to jest kurwa informatyk kurwa z pierwszej ligi jestem proszę bardzo co tam masz Linux Linux nie, ja, ja mogę sobie na Tu jest okulista. Ja znam na informatyce. Jak Linux? Sonia, daj kamień. Chujowo ci tu patrzę, co ty nie jesteś tu. Nie szuk. Rzućka, nie ty. <grym> mogę być okulistą. No. A na przykład marzeną no, też będziesz? <grym> Panie, 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 nic się nie 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 Panie kochanie, nie 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 i to kurwa raz, dwa, trzy. Kurwa okulary proszę zdjąć, kurwa zostawić tu i raz, dwa, trzy do sklepu. Tyle. Ile masz kurwa mamonę? I odpalaj kurwa bażanta kurwa, bo zaraz kurwa stanę ja. Ile masz, ile masz mamonę? Kurwa bo jak tutaj chłopaki się głoszczą to... to jest ludzkę? Kurwa to jest rusza. Ej, 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 ej. ej. A spluje kurwa pan. Albo pijesz, albo spierdalaj. Wymienkasz? Ja wiem, że ty uprawiasz. Pij, wódz, ty kurwa. Nie, tak by było, nie? Ja mu zajebę, jak będzie spierdalał. Ja go stawię, na 30 metrów mam zasięg. My walczymy ze sobą jako MMO. To są takie sztuki walki. Sztuki walki. You no drink? Nie tylko, dlatego nie mamy do ciebie agresji. Ty nie pierdol, kurwa. Ty mi się nie podoba, stawię ci jedną. Ty czekaj, albo pijesz kurwa, albo nie. Albo jesteś z nami, albo nie. Siedzisz z Polakami, to pij.
Kurwa, przyjechali kurwa. Proste i chuj. To nie jest kurwa. Ale mordowa. do góry. Słuchaj, zresztą widzisz po swoim przejściu. A to, 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 Ale to, 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 Co to to, Ej! Ja mu szopta, co wam Nie, tak? Żubę, żubę Dawida, bo... Ja to nie Ale dlaczego kurwa nie? Kurwa, co ja mogę dojechać do Ale alkohol nie smaczny. Nie smaczny. Nie smaczny. A jak... To na chuntu się Nie ma Wypierdala się. Wypierdala się. Nie łapnie kurwa. Jaka ty co mam? Ty nie uczyłem w ogóle. A co masz przyjebany? Sebastian, proszę iść. Iść, iść, iść. Uż się, uż się. Ja do ciebie nie Sebastian. Ci przyjebać? Uż Bo jak bym przed ci przyjebać, to już byś... Co, zdjęcia tu przyszedł, żeś porobić? Nie. Wypierdala się. Sebastian, idź. Kogo zdjęcia? Idź, idź, stąd. Sebastian, idź. Przy ciebie. Idź. Dobrze, okej. Idź. Ale co dobrze, 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 Wypierdalaj. in English means uh, it doesn't mean only female. I mean male. It can be uh, it's two. Oh, you can also you can say guy. Yeah. It's I, not I a, it's not, it's not a proper remember. English. It's not a proper English. It really is not proper I English. Don't but remember, it's, but you could use that. You could say you could say. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. You don't remember. You don't remember. Znalazłem wasze drugie tam u parku. W parku? Aha. E, nasz ten co? Wasze pierwsze ruchy. A, to tak. Tam gdzie jest ta e, tower, nie mówię, że tower? Nie, może. Nie, tower to jest. Nie, no, tower, to tower like gdzie? A, na dziecko. Tak, na dziecko. Na dziecko. Tam piją wodkę. Tam piją wodkę teraz. Zrobiły, zrobiły jak kobieta, ale nie. No oni tak kobieta nie zrobiły. A, tak? No. Dziękuję bardzo, pan. Nie, 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 nie powiem, nie, nie piłem alkoholu. I co nie piłem alkoholu, ja było, ja było niedobrze. Było. Ale ja, ja jestem tak, ja, ja jestem odstrzymięty, ja nie piłem alkoholu. Co to jest? Przepraszam. I z połowy miłe. No, we used to come here from the U.S. 
You, I would say, probably remember me from the U.S. Yeah. I'm sure you do. I'm mm -hmm. sure you do. You definitely do. You definitely do. Me. You definitely do. My woman. No problem. Both of you. What's problem? the problem? No, no problem. No, no problem. No. I said problem. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> no, no. I said I remember. This is because I have a problem with this. Uh -huh. I have a broken disc, I know. I know. and I because know. I have a broken disc, I, I hear I something here and something, something here. here. It's a problem with the disc, big problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. It's very difficult, and this is computer. A lot of it. Not the next one, but yet we do them. Usually we search a time domain of two years. Ulica? <laughs> Tutaj chodzimy oglądać konie tam są. Kupiki, kustki i tak sobie chodzimy. Korty i kustki. Kustki. Na kustki, kustki. Kustki, kustki. Kozy, to kustki, tak? No, kozy. Kozy. Żeby kozy było. Kozy, no właśnie. Konie to kupiki to horsy, no ale ten to ten. Kozy to? Kozy to kozy. To po stoleńsko kozy. I po polsku też, no i po czesku kozy i po ukraińsku kozy. No daj to, zopisz te imana na Facebooku. Nie ma Facebooka. Nie ma Facebooka, ok. Nie, nie lubię. Ja też go nie lubię, jego tak. Dziecko to jest coś tam, nie. Dziecko. Ja ale mam tam dużo przyjaciół. No tak, na pewno. Jakbym miał coś bokata, to dużo przyjaciół była. To jest równo. A nie lubię, nie lubię. Nie, nie, nie. Orek. Naprawdę. A do mnie nic. Do świąt. Chyba się? Do świąt. Do żony. Do żony. Do żony. No, może mam w tym kierunku, ja muszę wrócić tam. No, a ta idzie, a ty, a ty idzie na, na pierwsze jest, zobaczę? No, co, na pierwsze mało zobaczę. Wybiłem tu, no, wybiłem tu par miesiące temu, nie wyrażę, ale nie to było tam. I nie, 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 no, raz, dwa, jeszcze, jeszcze raz, no, dwa, to że muszę być, czekaj, nie mówmy mi, raz, dwa, jeszcze raz, no, raz, dwa, jeszcze raz, no, ja ci mówię, czternasta raz, na pewno, więcej, mniej, a to muszę być dwanasta raz, a mnie nie, Czekaj, czekaj, no dziewięć, dziesięć, 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 no? Dwa tysiące, to jest to tak? Dwa tysiące, jedenaście, jedenaście. Dwa tysiące, jedenaście, jedenaście, no? Jedenaście, tak. A w dwa tysiące, trzynaście mamy Olimpię, małe dziecko. Cztery, osiem? Trzynaście, Olimpię, no to jest siedem lat, siedem lat. Piękna, prawda, że to mamy Olimpię, to prawda, że to Gratulacje. Mama piękna, tata nie najgorszy. Tata nie najgorszy, to mu parku wojczyć chcieli, to jest pewnie hałas jest. Co ty? Hałas jest tam, ale hałas jest.
Dziękuję bardzo. 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 Dziękuję bardz. Dziękuję bardzo. 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 Dziękuję bardzo
Ale jest to i tak pan. Słuchaj, jeszcze jedna rzecz. Ja. Nie. nie znam, jeżeli była mama, myślę, że była mama u siebie. Ty, ty, ty byłeś z mamą sam. Ty byłeś z mamą, co tak tego było. No, ten... Nie było tak, że byłeś z tatą. Z tatą byłeś? Tam byłeś z tatą. No, byłeś z tatą. Już tak nie poznałem. Aha. Teraz jest już a teraz jest to sam. A nie, jest już czas, to jest to sam. Ty jesteś już sam tam. Znasz ile czasu jesteś? Ty może jesteś... Ty jesteś, ty jesteś powinien tam być gdzie... No, 10 lat jesteś na pewno już tam. Już tak? 7. Od 13? Tak. Od 13? Od 10. Od 10. Nie. Nie może być, no? Nie jak, no nie chcesz pokazać ci, nie będę za to. Ty kromy, ty kromy. Cały czas war było, wojna, wojna. I to jest w bloku jest. To jest... Ja bym tak, my jest tam w bloku. W bloku. Nie tam w bloku, normalnie. No, to jest tak. A co ty w ogóle, gdzie ty pracujesz? Nie pracuję. A gdzie? Na sączniu prawie. Po końcu, zobacz, w końcu i gdzie sączy jest tam w końcu, po prawa, to jest urząd. Sączy, sączy i urząd, po Słowęcu. Po Polsku? Nie, po Słowęcu, sączy i prawa. Po Polsku to jest sączy i urząd. Sączy, znaczy sączy. Tam, sączy. Zachodzi. Tak. Urząd, znaczy urząd. Urząd Sądowy? Nie. Co to jest? A tu jest w ogóle? Zewnątrz. Przepraszam. Zewnątrz. Zewnątrz? No. Zewnątrz? Sądowy. Zewnątrz? Nie sądowy. 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 Ja, słoneczny. Słoneczny rząd. Słoneczny rząd. Ja, dziecko słońca. Dziecko słońca? No, to ma rozumie. Bo ty to jest... A, bo ty nie chcesz, to się bez pracy. Ja nie znam. Nie, 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 Dobrze jeszcze płacę ci jeden. A, dobrze, dobrze. A co, chcę to mój numer, to co się to, telefon. A może twój numer, to jest jak ty, wiesz co słońca, to się będzie łaził, ty łazi, ja i tak się tam mówię. Dobrze. Dwie słowa dzielę, czy jeżeli chcę, to jeżeli chcę, to jeżeli chcę. A co, a gdzie, a gdzie ostatnio pracowałeś? U dziś. U dziś? Na tym? Na...
Uh, the German confirmed me in my account about absolutely everything. He was not with mom, he was with the father. In the block, yes. Exactly what I stated, yes. So, do I know what I don't know? Who knows what knows? Dzień dobry. This was recorded on uh, May 16, 2020. Saturday yesterday. One dollar, one dollar, my price, my price, my price, kurwa, pot, kurwa. Co ty mu kurwa dałeś? Ochujałeś? To już nie będzie dychać. Dolar, kurwa, Nie będzie dychać. Jestem za to ja ochrę. Jestem o stoją ochrę. Zobacz. Ja cię nie chcę słuchać, spierdalaj. Ej, kurwa. Zawsze ty pracujesz. Co? Jeszcze pamiętam, że pracujesz. Poczekaj. Ja pochodzę z Polski. Wydałem trochę drobnych. Ty tu przyszedłeś i płaskasz tego psa, chociaż nie powinnaś. Jaka jest ta twarz? Jeszcze pamiętam, że pracujesz. Więc stań i spierdalaj. If you wanna be my friend, take my penis in your hands, kurwa, no. Tak, trzeci film. Nie wiem, że się bali, nie wiem, że się bali. Ty bądź za nim jest, kurwa. Nie wiem, że się bali. Sarik, kurwa. Sarik, kurwa, trzy czwarte. A gdzie jest to, kurwa? To za rogiem. Ty, Sebastian. A co ty robisz w Polsce w ogóle? Sebastian. Sebastian. Co ty robisz w Polsce? On... Sebastian. Dawaj. Jest kamień. Siadaj. 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 I takie grube mi wyszły, ja cię prosiłem, żebyś się poszedł. Nie, Sebastian. No dobra, słuchaj. Sebastian, poszedł. Chłopaki są agresywne. Nie, 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 nie no, hej, idź już. Następnie, hej, idź już. Prosiłem cię, idź już. Idź już, Sebastian. Idź już, Sebastian. Idź już, Sebastian. Prosiłem cię, idź sobie. Nie, nie chcę tego zapytać. Sebastian, proszę cię, idź sobie. Sebastian, nie chcę wyjść. Idź, Sebastian. Idź, ja nie wiem, że lubię iść. Dobrze. Stoi to agresywnie nie pili. Nie, 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 dobrze, dobrze, chłopie ci. Po prostu. Nie, 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 nie. Ale po co? Po co? Ja ci powiedziałem, żeby chcę tylko kurwa wiedzieć. Ja chciałbym ci pomóc, ale jeszcze po co? Chciałbyś mi pomóc? A ty tak mi pomogłeś? Dobrze. Tak mi pomogłeś? Dziękuję bardzo. Niech się kurwa goni. 
Батик Dobrze, dziękuję. 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 Dobr